In just a few more months now, the final shape will be rolling out and I'm just like most of you when I say I can't wait. It has come to my attention the 96% of you that watch my channel aren't subscribed. Please if you can hit that subscribe button it's free and doesn't cost you anything. Oh, and while you're there why not hit that like to cause that is the best way to help out this channel. Now to today's video subject this week in Destiny 0321 2024. This week in Destiny we're sharing all the details on the upcoming new content update. PvP Strike Team Weapons Sandbox update here, and we wanted to give you an update on what we've been working on since our last update. We've been paying close attention to the weapon sandbox following the 7.3.5 changes, and we have begun the process of fine-tuning the sandbox for 7.3.6. It's very clear that some auto rifles are outperforming the competition in the mid-range, with precision auto rifles in general. This is not purely a prosecutor problem. In fact, six of the 10 best performing auto rows in high skill lobbies are 450 precisions, with positive outlook being the strongest. In contrast, the summoner while usage is quite high is not displaying nearly the same level of effectiveness in high skill PvP lobbies. After reviewing both the data and a large amount of player feedback, we're making some changes aimed at providing competition for auto rifles in mid range engagements, along with decreasing forgiveness of precision auto rifles to keep their ease of use in line with their lethality. Auto Rifles Precisions decreased base damage by 5%. Hand Cannons Precisions increased base damage by 6%. Adaptives increased body shot damage by 1% and increased crit damage by 4%. This gives Adaptive Hand Cannons more forgiving range cushion and will also correct issues preventing explosive payload from killing in 3 crits. Pulse Rifles Rapid Fires increased body shot damage by 3.5% and increased crit damage by 1%. Lightweights increase body shot damage by 6% and increase crit damage by 3%. Adaptives increase body shot damage by 5% and increase crit damage by 2%. Moving on to um, Scout Rifles Rapid Fires increase base damage by 2%. Now Bows Lightweights increase base damage by 6%. Please note that Wish Ender and the Monarch are not affected by this change. Exotic weapons like Sunshot increase critical hit damage against players in Crucible by 11% to allow it to kill in 3 crits. And the last word increased base damage by 6% to allow it to kill in 3 crits. Okay, so now general changes like Flinch in the new sandbox with the increased reliance on critical hits being flinched off target when using your primary weapons feels especially punishing, so we're reduced flinch taken by all primary weapons by 15%. Bungie's collaboration with the Ghostbusters franchise went live on March 19, bringing iconic in-game accessories to Destiny 2, including the Slimer exotic ghost shell, a Garaka-inspired exotic sparrow, and an Ecto-1-themed exotic ship. A slimmer Papercraft gift starting on March 19th at 10 a.m. PT, anyone who makes a purchase at the Bungie store will also receive a Slimer ghost shell Papercraft at no extra cost. You'll have the opportunity to grab this otherworldly goodie until 11.59 p.m. PT on March 31st. We wanted to clarification around this. It is not a Bungie Rewards item and cannot be earned via purchases of items in the Eververse store. Once a purchase is made at the Bungie store, you will receive a link to download the PDF file sent to the email address associated with your Bungie store account. If you find this video even remotely useful, please take the time to like, comment, and subscribe. Any suggestions on how I can make these videos more enjoyable or useful, make sure you comment and let me know. Last but not least, share this video to your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, or your best friend. Let them find the usefulness of this video as well. Thanks for watching. Always answer the call. Eyes up, Guardian.